You see, they always said, it's tough to say no to your friends. That's something that I've never struggled with. What I found difficult is saying no to myself. Self-discipline really pays off. Years before I had even discovered silver, I had been doing these things, and they have saved me tons and tons and tons of currency. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about silver and three ways you can implement self-discipline to reduce your spending so that you have more cash left over so you can get more silver. But really quick, just in case you're new, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so join the party. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Also, have a back-to-school giveaway going on in case you have kids or grandkids or someone in your family you want to help them get school supplies. And of course, if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, the brand new Kraken Stacking t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated so a couple days ago i posted a video talking about how silver could be used as a money spending deterrent if you put your dollars into silver sure it's liquid you can always get dollars back in exchange for your silver but it requires a middleman it requires you going to the coin shop or putting stuff up for sale on the internet and then you have to wait for a buyer and then you have to wait for a transaction to go through and then you have to ship out the silver and of course that's bing, bang, boom, quick and easy, pretty simple, but it's a minor inconvenience standing in between you and foolish spending. So today I wanted to do a video talking about how you could be more self-disciplined. I want to give three examples of things that I do in my own life that I think could help a lot of people out. So the first thing that I want to talk about as a way of saving some cash so you have more cash left over to get more silver would be the water purification unit that I purchased about a year ago. Now, it ran me over $200. It was close to, well, let's just say about $250. I told a couple family members about it. They thought I was crazy because I used to spend about $7 a week on water. I would go to the store and I would get seven gallon jugs of water because I drink at least a gallon a day and it would last me about a week. And then after a week goes by, I'm back at the store buying seven more. So that's what I used to do. And my family members, they didn't really put two and two together. They're like, why would you spend $250 on something that purifies water when you were spending only $7 on purified water? And I was like, well, that's the difference. I would spend $7 a week on water. If I'm spending a dollar a day on water, by the time a year goes by, that's 365 bucks just on water that I'm drinking. This water purification unit cost me not even $250. And by the time 250 days went by drinking the gallon jugs of water, that would have ran me $250 anyway. So by the time 251 days go by, I had already broken even. And as they say, money saved is money earned, depending on how you look at it. So that's one way I was able to do that. And after next year goes by, that's $365 saved. And if I save about a dollar a day on water, that's about... $30 a month, and what can you get with 30 extra dollars a month? Approximately a troy ounce of silver. You can get some more silver with that cash that you saved, not to mention it's healthier. Well, I did also get that water purification unit for prepping purposes. If we're stacking the silver and the gold anyway, we're financially prepping. That's what stacking is at the end of the day. Long-term wealth preservation, it's a hedge against inflation. I consider it financial prepping. But I also prep in other areas as well. The food preps, water purification, such as the water purification unit that I just talked about. So I got it for prepping purposes. It's a lot healthier and it saves me tons of cash. So the next thing up I want to talk about would be biking. This is something that not a lot of people have the motivation to do. This is something that I did not have the motivation to do a couple years ago, but I was working at an athletic center and I was constantly surrounded by athletes and I was inspired to purchase a bicycle. And I said to myself, it had nothing to do with the money. I said to myself that I wanted to bike to work at least one day a week. I'll drive every day, but one day I'll bike. It'll be good exercise, something good to do, get some fresh air, get some exercise, get some sunlight. And it's free transportation essentially. So I did it the first day that I bought the bike I liked it so much, I ended up doing it almost every single day 
nine months out of the year for the last couple of years. Now I haven't gotten around to calculating how much I saved not having to gas up the car nearly as often as I used to, but of course I still drive. You gotta still drive. If I go food shopping, I'm gonna drive. If I'm going an hour away, I'm gonna be driving. There are things that I have to drive for. If it's pouring rain, I'm gonna drive. If we're in the middle of a blizzard and the roads are icy, I'm gonna be driving. I'm not gonna bike in, in bad weather. But point being is seven, eight, maybe nine months out of the year, spring, summer, and fall for the most part, I'm on a bike. And I did it for exercise. And simultaneously, I ended up realizing that I'm saving tons of cash, tons of currency, tons of fiat. And I have no idea how much I have saved over the years, but I would imagine quite a bit. And with all that cash saved, what can you do? What can you do with that cash being saved? Maybe get some more silver. Some more silver. Some more silver. Some more silver. As a couple of little examples. Now the third and final example that I want to give, something that I did in my life that I consider to be a form of being self-disciplined. You see, they always said, when it comes to peer pressure, it's tough to say no to your friends. That's something that I've never struggled with. I could say no to my friends all day long. It doesn't faze me one bit. What I found difficult is saying no to myself. There were things that I wanted. There were things that I wanted to do, things that I wanted to buy, places that I wanted to go, and they all had one thing in common. They cost currency. So if you want something bad enough and you can't decide if you want that product or not, you have to really take a step back and say, all right, what do I want more? Do I want the currency in my hand or do I want that product on the shelf over there? And oftentimes people say, no, I want that product or I want to go on that trip or I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to buy that new car. I want to get a tattoo. I want to, I want to get a, a Rolex or something like that, whatever it is that you want. Now I was never much of a reckless spender, but I found it quite a bit more difficult saying no to myself than saying no to anyone else on the planet. I don't mind saying no to people. A lot of people say, oh, I don't want to say no. I don't want to sound like a jerk. I don't mind sounding like a jerk. I call myself a jerk. That's fine. But the last example that I want to give, something that I consider a form of being self-disciplined, and it's been saving me a little bit of currency. And again, this is not something that I did specifically to save my currency, but I found that it's best to spend my money on things that save me money in the long term. So this example would be building myself a miniature gym. A lot of people have a gym membership. I had a gym membership as well. And I didn't cancel my gym membership because it was too expensive. It was only like $20, $30 a month. I canceled my gym membership because I'm a college student who has a gym on campus that I could use for free. So you could say you're paying all those tuition dollars, but you're getting a free gym membership out of it. Or as I like to call it, I'm paying for a really expensive gym membership and getting a free education out of it. Change your perspective. Point being is that I was going to that gym for free. I know not everybody has access to that because not everybody is a student. And guess what? I no longer have access to that because campus is closed, lockdown. So you could say, oh, okay, the campus gym is closed because the entire campus is closed. No big deal. Let me just go and get my gym membership back. Well, you can't do that either because the gyms are closed as well. They're locked down as well. You can't use any gym unless you live in a state where things have opened back up already. But I live in New Jersey. They just opened up barber shops a couple weeks ago. You think they're going to open up a gym? You think they're going to open up something that people go specifically to improve their health? Nope, that's not a priority. The fast food is a priority. Those have been open since day one. However, slowly but surely, I have been picking up some dumbbells. I've been picking up some weights. I've been doing my workouts at home rather than going to the gym or rather than going to the campus fitness center. And I've always had quite a bit of respect for the owners of fitness centers because it's actually a pretty good business model. I mean, I guess one could argue that they're not exactly recession proof or they're definitely not pandemic proof considering that most of them are still closed for going on five or six months now. But I was always under the impression that it was a good business model because 
Whether people show up to work out or not, you're still getting paid. You know what everybody does. January 1st. New year, new me. This is gonna be my year. I'm dedicated, I'm motivated. I'm gonna get a gym membership. I'm gonna lose weight or I'm gonna gain weight or whatever I wanna do. So if they sign up for a gym membership, beginning of January, two weeks later, they already gave up and they don't just cancel their gym membership because they keep making excuses. They keep saying, oh yeah, I'll get to it eventually. Yeah, I've been slacking. I'm gonna get back in there. One of these nights after work, I'm gonna stop by and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jog for a mile on the treadmill or I'm gonna lift some weights. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. They keep making excuses and, and sooner or later, all of a sudden it's the end of April and they still haven't been since the beginning of January. And guess who got paid? January, February, March, and April. And guess who's gonna be getting paid? in May, the owner of the fitness center. Because the person who refuses to go to the gym has been paying all these months. Point being is that if I canceled my gym membership and I spent my own money on weights for myself, which by the way, they don't dissipate, they don't expire, they don't go away, they last forever, they're weights. If I no longer have to pay a gym membership, that's a monthly expense that is still in my pocket. And what can I do? Maybe get more silver. Maybe get some more silver. There's tons of things you can do. There's tons of ways to save cash. There's tons of expenses that you could cut back on. And I was told by a mentor several years ago not to cut my expenses, but rather to increase my income. I responded by saying, why not do both? Why not make a little bit more and spend a little bit less? So that's what I try to do. I try my best and I hope this video was somewhat insightful. Whether it be from a prepping perspective, for example, the water purification unit in case of emergencies, or whether it be from a health perspective, for example, riding a bike every now and then, even if it's just once a week rather than driving, or whether it be from just self-reliant perspective, have your own gym rather than going to somebody else's. At the end of the day, I have found that over these last couple of years, even years before I had even discovered silver, I had been doing these things and they have saved me tons and tons and tons of currency. And guess what? Now that I'm saving tons of currency on those things that I no longer have to spend money on, I have more of these left over to get some of these. Just a couple of little examples, just a couple of things that I found interesting, a couple of things that I found beneficial. I think self-discipline really pays off and it clearly has been over the years. So let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with me or disagree with me on anything that I said in today's video. And if there's anything that you do that you consider to be self-discipline, something that you tell yourself, no, you're not going to spend cash on this. You're not going to buy this. You're not going to do that anymore. And you're going to save the currency so that you can inevitably get more money. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And do not forget, I have a back to school giveaway going on over there. If you have kids in the family or kids of your own, or if your friends have kids and you wanna get them some school supplies, it's free to enter. And last but not least, of course, if you wanna help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, the brand new Kraken Stackin t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, please head on down to the comments and let me know if there's anything else you can add to the list. I shared the water purification unit. I shared biking rather than driving sometimes. I shared building yourself a gym rather than paying a gym membership. Let me know in the comment section down below anything you could add to the list, anything you do already or something that you plan on doing in the future, or maybe this video inspired you to do something and you wanna talk about it, head on down to the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare sound smiling. Peace.
New year, new me. This is gonna be my year. I'm dedicated. I'm motivated. I'm gonna get a gym membership. I'm gonna lose weight or I'm gonna gain weight or whatever I wanna do.